I'm trying to control for quality and kindness. So our food is not fast food. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm a chef in Pip's Kitchen. Hi, my name is Lonica. I'm the social media manager, and we are the family behind Peep's Kitchen, located in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Peep's Chicken, I eat every day. I have to tell you. You eat it every day? Every day, whatever. We have a little bit left to make sure the quality is good. Neither of my parents like chicken. <laughs> at all, so, and then my dad's always been like more of a perfectionist too, so quality for him is very important because also he's, he has this philosophy that like you can't get good food without patience and hard work. My recipes are in my memories. He's trying to make the, the gangjong sauce now. And then obviously you want them to take their time with it, so that's kind of what my dad does here. That's why it takes about like 30 to 40 minutes for every order. And he holds it to a much higher standard than most other people would. Getting to be red, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I would say, yeah, we are more of a specialty fried chicken, just because I think like that is definitely like our strong suit. I'm trying to make a fresh always. So they do the marinade actually every single day. So you have to marinate the chicken at least 24 hours. So every morning during the prepping process, they are marinating tomorrow's batch of chicken. What's inside here? Salt, ginger, curry, and onion, sugar a little bit. So I have to clean the chicken to marinate it. So what gives it that pink color? A pink color is my secret. <laughs> Don't worry about that, natural. It makes it uh, feel fresh. It sits in the marinade for 24 hours, and then they also use like our spi our spice mix, which is like our powder mix, and then throw that in the fire. So it's double seasoned. It's seasoning like on the meat itself, and then seasoning like on the breading and skin. You know, most important thing is not a uh, recipe. Not the recipe. Most important is combination and temperature, and time. Everything is made to order. The second that someone orders it is the one we start making it. <laughs> <laughs> when I need someone's help, my wife is best. So I think we are trying to dial down the reputation that fried chicken is fast food because we are trying to kind of stray away from that. Yeah, it's just for you, for you. They're dynamic here, like at Peep's Kitchen, like being my dad being the chef and my mom kind of just being like on the side, like prepping stuff. That's also what takes place at home too. Like separate yeah. department. Your department, I own this department. My favorite focus on is my family. Survival means for my family. Now I show you trimming for bonus style. I first met him, he's pretty handsome, so that's a plus, and he's very smart. So he was a perfect um, package. <laughs> So during the pandemic, like a lot of other people, my mom lost her job in fashion, and then my dad also had to close down his business. My shipping business is going down, even close. And he actually had like about 20 years of franchising and like for a chicken restaurant back in Korea. So he actually took those recipes that did so well in Korea and he utilized it for Pete's Kitchen. If I knew the restaurant business is this hard, maybe I would say no from the beginning. <laughs> I just think about food is very important. Food is forever. Okay, let's try that. So they came up with the idea of like a restaurant and then Peep's Kitchen was born. I want to tell about my food quality. Yeah, let's talk about yeah. it. For me, just fresh, fresh and good taste and clean. 
I learned from Japan. This powder is a little bit salt, pepper like that also. So for chicken, we use we use thigh meat primarily just because it's there's a lot more flavor to it compared to chicken breast. And obviously we have like our wings and our drumsticks. And then so any boneless chicken is comes from our thigh meat. Yeah, all at once. We call the watery powder. I'm trying to make a more delicious, more tender, juicy, more like that. So. So in order to pretty much keep up with our quality too, we also have like a finite amount of chicken. And because we don't want to, you know, we don't want to sacrifice quality and have chicken like marinating like too early or too late. So that's why sometimes it's very easy for us to sell out, especially when we get a lot of big orders. First time, two years ago, I cooked it, ordered, and delivered also. You did everything. <laughs> everything. He actually didn't think that it was going to do well in America because, you know, it did so well in Korea and, you know, it's a whole new de demographic. But that's what he's been using and it's actually been working out very well for him. As a user, I, I don't use a timer. My eyes and my ears sound. Interesting. Yeah. Looks so good, right? Uh, I think for us specifically, I think more of our appeal is like our sauces. Like everyone goes crazy for our sauces. We have like very specific recipes for our sauce. You can't get them anywhere else. I don't even know the recipes for the sauces, but I know that it's like very particular way that my dad likes to have it done and like prepare it for everybody. Pinto. <laughs> um, I've worked in like another Korean fried chicken restaurant before too. So I've also like tried their chicken. I've tried other chickens just from like hanging out with my friends. And I would say like ours has definitely has a lot more meat to it too. Like it's not very like skimpy on the meat. And I think that's also why a lot of people like order from us. So these are our more popular dishes. Right here we have our drumsticks and right underneath that we have our wings as well. And then over here in the middle we have our patak or scallion chicken and that's scallion on top of our boneless chicken and that's drizzled with our padak sauce. And then last but not least, we have our kangjong, which is our sauce glazed chicken topped with sesame seeds, parsley, and almonds. My personal favorite, I like the padak. My favorite was padak. <laughs> My favorite is a padak as well. I think like there's just a sense of pride like seeing like people, especially people you don't even know, like getting along with your parents, like loving something that they've made. It's really good. They are cheering us and loving my food. Thanks, God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I love you guys. My <laughs> family. That's it. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza Deguia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.